Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today we're talking fast food. We all know that we need a little fast food in our lives sometimes because hashtag life is hectic. So I'm gonna share with you today the 28 unhealthiest fast foods of 2020. So moving into the new year and the next time that you're frequenting a drive through these are the 28 foods that you should avoid pretty much at all costs. Along with sharing these foods, I will be putting the nutritional information on the screen so you can see just how unhealthy these foods are. I also wanna preface today's video with the fact that no foods are bad or good. Food is food, food is fuel. However, there are certain foods that are better for our body and these 28 foods are foods that aren't necessarily beneficial for our weight loss goals, maintaining our weight, our healthy lifestyle, and that's why they fall onto today's list. So if you're excited for today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. It means a lot to me and tells YouTube that other people may want to see today's video. Also, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, join me in my community. We'd love to have you. Just hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it. That way you'll be notified when Whenever I upload. I do upload videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so definitely make sure you're subscribed. Down in the description box, you'll find my nutrition coaching website. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. Let me figure all that out for you so that you're armed with that knowledge moving into the new year. I also offer 30 and 60 minute coaching sessions one-on-one, -on -one, just you and I, where we can set up a game plan, make some goals, you can ask your questions, and we can form a friendship, which is one of my favorite things about nutrition and weight loss coaching. You'll also find links and discount codes to my favorite healthy things down in that description box, so definitely spend a couple minutes checking that out. So we have 28 unhealthy fast food items to go over, so let's jump in. fast food number one for 2020 is Wendy's pretzel bacon pub triple burger that's a mouthful this burger contains a lot of people's daily calories all wrapped up into one greasy hamburger this burger has three hamburger patties not one not two but three these patties are covered in a warm beer cheese and packed with tons of applewood smoked bacon honey mustard crispy fried onions pickles and a slice of munster cheese oh and that's not all it falls on a soft pretzel bun sounds really good doesn't it but it should come to no surprise to anyone that this burger is the highest calorie burger on the entire Wendy's meal and contains an astronomical amount of fat, both total fat and saturated fat. Number two is KFC's donut sandwich. So we're putting fried chicken in a donut. Again, this one chicken sandwich has some people's caloric intake or pretty darn close to what they should consume calorie wise in a given day. It's a combination of KFC's signature fried chicken in the middle of two glazed donuts. This sandwich has almost 1400 grams of sodium and over 100 grams of carbohydrates in the form of sugar. So anything that has this much calories, sodium and sugar in one sandwich should be avoided. Tell me one person you know that doesn't enjoy a Dairy Queen Blizzard. Well, the Oreo Mocha Fudge Blizzard from Dairy Queen is one of the unhealthiest foods of 2020. It contains over 1300 calories. 1,301 dessert. It contains Oreo cookie pieces, chocolate chunks, and coffee blended up with fudge and vanilla ice cream. This particular blizzard packs more sugar than if you were to eat 131 Oreo cookies. Number four may come as a bit of a surprise, and that is the Panera Mac and Cheese. One side item of the Panera Mac and Cheese has over a thousand calories and a slew of fat and saturated fat. Panera basically married their broccoli cheddar soup and their mac and cheese into one dish and this is what is created the Panera mac and cheese when served up in a nice warm bread bowl this one dish contains an entire day's worth of sodium and half of a day's worth of carbohydrates number five comes from Arby's this is their fresh line of sandwiches the market fresh cranberry and fried turkey sandwich. So as soon as we heard the word fried, it makes a little bit of sense why this falls on the top 28 worst foods. This sandwich has over 800 calories, and if you love Thanksgiving, then this sandwich sounds a bit like your dream come true. It's loaded with Swiss cheese, pepper bacon, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise with a cranberry spread, all on some honey wheat bread. 
Sounds somewhat healthy, right? But because it contains deep fried turkey breasts, this is what should halt you purchasing this fast food item. It has over 800 calories, like I mentioned, and a whopping, and I say whopping, over 2,000 milligrams of sodium. Number six comes from Chick-fil-A. Now there are some healthy choices at Chick-fil-A and there are some not so healthy choices. One of those not so healthy choices is their peppermint chip milkshake. It contains over 900 calories in a milkshake. It's loaded with actual chips of peppermint bark and topped off with some whipped topping. The large size of this shake contains more sugar than you would eat if you consumed 28 Oreo cookies. Number seven is the Taco Bell grilled cheese burrito. Over 700 calories, this burrito is stuffed with nacho cheese, sauce, and shredded cheese, creating a cheesy burrito with over 700 calories. Number eight is the Sonic BBLT. At over 600 calories, the Sonic BBLT is bacon upon bacon upon bacon. This sandwich has over 1300 calories and a ton of saturated fat from the bacon, bacon, and bacon. And you know, chances are we're gonna pair this with some fries, so this is definitely a stay away sandwich. Number nine is Domino's Cheeseburger Pizza. There's over a thousand calories in a large one of these pizzas, and we know it's gonna be on the unhealthier side when you're pairing pizza and cheeseburgers. This pizza is packed with ground beef and topped with a ketchup mustard pizza sauce. Provolone cheese, cheddar cheese, bacon, and all the burger toppings. This pizza contains over 7,000 grams of sodium. That's the amount of sodium you should consume in over two days. Number 10 is the A&W Sriracha Cheese Curds. This little side item that you pair generally with a big juicy A&W burger contains over a thousand calories. Over 66 grams of fat in one large serving of these cheese curds. You're much better off choosing a completely different side even if it's a french fry. Number 11 Wendy's falls right back on this list with their pretzel pub chicken sandwich. Over 800 calories, this sandwich is topped with a deep fried breaded chicken breast, beer cheese sauce, applewood smoked bacon, smoky honey mustard, crispy fried onions, pickles, lettuce, and tomato. All the top, another pretzel bun. It's high in fat, calories, and sodium, and there are much healthier options on the Wendy's menu. Number 12 are KFC's Secret Recipe Fries. Over 320 calories, when KFC entered into 2020, they took off their JoJo's or their potato wedges off of their menu and replaced them with these secret sauce fries. These fries have the same herbs and spices that are famous in their fried chicken, but they have over a thousand milligrams of sodium in just a side item, not to mention all of the sodium in the mashed potatoes and the chicken that you're also consuming from KFC. Number 11 is Arby's Root Beer Float. This one came as a bit of a surprise. Now I know that root beer is packed with sugar, but I was surprised that this actually falls on the top 28 unhealthiest fast food items. The reason for that is this root beer float contains over 600 calories and is a massive sugar bomb. It contains over 118 grams of sugar, more than you would eat in 11 Krispy Kreme donuts. Number 14 is Checkers Bacon Barbecue Mother Cruncher Chicken Sandwich. Lucky for me, we don't have a Checkers or a Rallies in my area because this sandwich has over 1,100 calories. It's a crunchy, all-white chicken breast covered in a smoky barbecue sauce and stacked with crispy onions, lettuce, and American cheese. It also has two slices of bacon on top of a buttery toasted bun. This may kind of have your mouth watering, but remember this sandwich is over 1,000 calories and contains more sodium than a human should eat in an entire day. Number 15 is Jack in the Box Triple Cheese Bacon Curly Fries. This little box of fries has over 800 calories. It has more than half of your day's worth of sodium in your french fries. Again, not to mention how much calories, fat, sodium you're consuming in the other food that you're pairing these cheese fries with. Number 16 is Smash Burgers Gingerbread Holiday Shake. And again, I'm lucky we don't have Smashburger in my area. This milkshake has over 850 calories. It's made with Haagen-Dazs vanilla ice cream and gingerbread cookie crumbles, but when you consume this shake, you're getting more sugar than you would if you ate five chocolate glazed Dunkin' Donuts. Number 17 is Papa John's Grilled Buffalo Chicken Papadilla. With over 900 calories, this flatbread style sandwich from a famous pizza place clocks in with over 39 grams of fat. It's loaded with grilled chicken, cheese, buttermilk ranch dressing, and buffalo sauce. It contains an entire day's worth of sodium. Number 18 is Arby's Deep Fried Turkey Club. This kind of goes 
hand in hand with the deep fried market fresh sandwich. With over 500 calories, this sandwich sounds somewhat healthy because it has turkey, but the deep fried turkey strikes again. It's a club sandwich with deep fried turkey breast, natural cheddar cheese, lettuce, tomato, pepper, bacon, all on a toasted bun. And this sandwich also contains 1,630 milligrams of sodium. Number 19 is another Dairy Queen treat and this is the rocky road blizzard this blizzard has over 1500 calories it is loaded with chocolate ice cream marshmallows chocolate chips brownie pieces peanuts and cocoa fudge all in one delicious cup and if you think this delicious cup is going to give you sugar overload you are right because this one blizzard contains more sugar than 15 Krispy Kreme original glazed donuts. Number 20 is Wendy's Baconator Breakfast Combo. This breakfast packs over a thousand calories. Now, if you're eating a thousand calories for breakfast, that doesn't leave you much room in your day for lunch, dinner, and snacks. It's a bacon and cheese top sausage sandwich along with some breakfast fries. And the worst part of this meal is it contains 2,600 milligrams of sodium. Number 21 is Little Caesars Extra Most Bestest Italian Sausage Pizza. It's no surprise that pizza falls on this list. We all know pizza is delicious, but is a pretty unhealthy food. But this pizza in a large pizza is over 2,600 calories. This pizza is topped with mozzarella and Munster cheese, and of course, a savory sausage. Anything with trans fat should be avoided, and this pizza is packed with trans fat, but the kicker of this pizza is its sodium content. This pizza has over 5,000 620 milligrams of sodium. That's the same amount of sodium you would get if you ate 58 pretzel rods. Number 22 is Wendy's Big Bacon Classic Triple. Poor Wendy's. They're on this list over and over. This burger has over 1,200 calories and contains over three quarters of a pound of ground beef. Bacon, American cheese, lettuce, tomato, pickle, mayo, all atop a toasted bun. With over 1,700 milligrams of sodium and the calories for an entire day, this one definitely falls on this list. Number 23 is Hardy's Monster Angus Thick Burger. Now we don't have Hardee's, but we have Carl's Jr. And if I'm correct, I think those are the same line of restaurant, but this particular burger has over 1400 calories. It has two beef patties, four strips of bacon, and three slices of American cheese. Packing 97 grams of fat and more sodium than you should eat in a day, this burger should definitely be avoided. Number 24 is Burger King's Double Steakhouse King. With almost 1,200 calories, this particular burger made a comeback in 2020 as a fan favorite. Not only is it over 1,000 calories, but it contains more sodium than you would get if you ate nine full-size bags of Lay's potato chips. Number 25 is Sonic's Oreo Peanut Butter Shake. In a large shake is 1,700 calories, more calories than most people consume in a day in the shake. And remember, you're still having a burger or a hot dog or a chicken sandwich and fries. It contains half your daily sodium allowance, all of your calories for the day, and two days worth of fat not to mention all of the other not so stellar nutritional ingredients. Number 26 is Burger King's Triple Whopper with cheese. Now we all know that a traditional Whopper has a ton of calories and fat, but we're making a triple version. This burger has over 1200 calories. It has four grams of artery clogging trans fat, not to mention 32 additional grams of saturated fat, which is more than you should consume in an entire day. Number 27 is McDonald's Big Breakfast with hotcakes, biscuits, scrambled eggs, sausage, and hash browns. This little breakfast platter, which is not much bigger than this, is over 1300 calories, over 2000 grams of sodium. This breakfast platter has enough calories to cover breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Number 28 is Wendy's Bacon Jalapeno Cheeseburger Triple. Back to Wendy's. Over 1,200 calories, this burger has three hamburger patties, pickled jalapenos, applewood smoked bacon, crispy fried onions, a cheese sauce, a smoky jalapeno cheese sauce, all with mayo on a toasted bun. 86 grams of fat, but what is worse is it has four 0.5 grams of trans fat, which is artery clogging, heart attack inducing fats. And it contains almost your entire day's worth of sodium. So the next time you're hitting up a fast food restaurant, I hope that today's video helps you make a better educated choice on what to order off of the menu. Now there's nothing wrong with having fast food, everything in moderation. And again, no food is bad or good. There are just some healthier options of these food choices. And these 28 on the list are the unhealthiest of 2020. If anything, I hope it just opens your eyes to making better choices at your local fast food restaurant. If you enjoyed today, 
today's video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It means a lot to me and really helps out my channel. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed, please make sure you do so and turn the bell on next to it because I upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you don't want to miss a single video. Definitely take advantage of my nutrition coaching down in the description box. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in the description box as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.